In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build color shifting heart BRZ taillights. Obviously this side is not done yet, but in this video, we are gonna show you the completed lights. We don't even like to pull the brown protective paper off of this until they are sitting inside the BRZ housings ready to be completely sealed because we don't want fingerprints or dust on them. First thing we do in every single video is let you know all the parts that you're gonna need. And first thing is going to be a BRZ heart kit from Alumistel. Now, the next thing we're going to need is slightly different than what comes in the kit. These come with red and amber LEDs, but we're going to need some color shifting LEDs from Next Level Neo. These are the through hole addressable LEDs. The next thing you need for these is the actual BRZ taillights. I ordered some. They still have not arrived. It's been several weeks, so I had to cancel that order and order another set. By the end of this video, they'll be here, but at the moment, they are not. To open those BRZ taillights, we are going to need an ultrasound sonic cutter. This is going to give us a very, very thin cut. To reseal them, we are going to use a hot knife, something like this. This is actually a wood burner, but I really like it as a hot knife. To seal it up properly, you're going to need some black silicone, Phillips head screwdriver, flat head screwdriver, some wire snips, wire strippers, red and black wire, LED wire, bloom, soldering iron and some solder, and a blue gross module. This is going to give us everything we need to power this up with show modes and to have all of the OEM functions. So the most important thing when you are building out the color shifting lights is making sure you know what direction you're building. So with these hearts, we're going to treat them kind of like halos. And I'm personally going to put the starting pixel at the bottom. So it's going to start right here and wrap around like this and go like this all the way down the light. This cheat sheet right here is what is going to help us a ton. So we can actually just line up our LED just like that. So we know which one does which. So the ones on either end is going to be data in, then data out. Then we've got ground as the slightly shorter one and the longest one is going to be power. So we're gonna bring that back over to the board and go ahead and push the LED into place. You will probably have to use some sort of a screwdriver or something to push it all the way down so that it holds in there nice and tight. Then you just keep adding LEDs. And the nice thing is that it does have that flat spot on the actual LED. Uh, that is how we know what direction we're gonna go. So we can put the next one in facing the exact same direction. Since these are heart shaped, you will have to change the direction that the LEDs are facing to go along with the shape of the heart. So you can kind of see if you look closely, that the flat spot starts that way and then it goes that direction and it just slowly starts to curve. We need to do that all the way around so that the data will flow the correct direction.
Both of the boards are completely built out. Now it's time to actually open up the tail lights. This right here is everything that you're gonna need to open up these BRZ tail lights. I already have a full how-to video on these, so I'm not gonna do a long-winded one. We're just gonna run through the tools really quickly. You're gonna need to open them. We use an ultrasonic cutter. Then you're gonna need to pry it a little bit. We like to use a pocket screwdriver and then one big screwdriver. Once you have opened and modified the tail lights, it's time to reseal them. That's where a hot knife comes into play. Once you have completely plastic welded the entire light back together, it's time to silicone it up and make it waterproof. So let's get started. I showed the full process in the actual how-to video. So this is just gonna be a quick time lapse of us chopping open these lights. The inner housing is completely out now, and before we can actually install this, we obviously need to paint it. We don't want a gloss black housing sitting in a all chrome housing. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint this all black, and then I'm gonna show you how we prep the inner housing after paintwork, because we need to actually put something here for this to glue to. But painting is boring, so I'm not gonna show that. Now that the light is all painted, how we are going to mount this up is with this foam seal. So this is actually kind of thick. We're gonna end up chopping it. But first thing I wanna do is get it lined up and just, just to see how much we're gonna need. One thing to note on these BRZ lights is that this section right here is really small. It's too small for the foam seal. I mean, if you compare the size of that housing, to the size of the board, they're almost the same. So we are not actually going to have any foam seal running all the way up. We're probably just gonna have foam seal from about here to here and then here to here. You really don't need it going up this way and you don't need it going up this way because we don't have any LEDs that are backlighting this. So there's not gonna be any light bleed. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about that on this set. So I am going to measure out just the top side, cut it here and now we can just trim this one piece into our two pieces that we need do about a little over a quarter inch hopefully you can cut a straighter line than i can there's one flip it over so we have the flat piece and let's do the other side okay To know where it's gonna land, we need to look here and here. It's designed to sit right in this line and right inside here. You can also mock it up if you really need to, but I try not to do that because I don't wanna scratch the paint. Same for the bottom row. We're gonna hit right inside here and then just follow it all the way down and around. So you're gonna end up with a housing just like that. The adhesive on these is pretty decent, but if you feel like it's not holding well enough, you, you would like a little bit of extra security. Go ahead and add some goop or some shoe goo right along here just to hold it down a little bit more. Personally, I've never had any issues with the foam seal. Now we are going to go ahead and put the board in place. So what we need to do is feed the RGB wire through the turn signal hole right here. And then it's gonna sit just like that okay so we've got the board set in place using some tape so what we're going to do now is going to add some of our goop this is going to be the adhesive that we use to hold the board in and what i like to do is just go ahead and put it right in between the foam and the board itself something just like that we'll do a couple of dots all the way down making sure that nothing is moving around and making sure that the glue doesn't leak out to the front which i've had that happen a couple of times and that is kind of a mess to clean up the board is completely seated inside the inner housing and is ready to go back into the taillights themselves so for this i try to put the lights 
in the back housing and then I'll set the whole thing inside the lens because I don't want the front to touch the lens and mess up the paintwork or mess up the lens in any way. Now that I've got it slightly in place, AKA it's just set in there, barely holding on by anything, I am going to go ahead and plastic weld a few spots. We're not gonna do the whole thing because what we wanna do is go ahead and test it all. So plastic weld, just a few spots, like a tack weld if you were actually welding. And then you can test everything, make sure it's all working properly, get the module wired in. The very last thing we do is seal it up. We've got our tester module hooked up here. If we flip this over, you can see that everything is looking really, really good. Everything is set in place where it should with the housing and there is no scratches or any paint defects. So what we can do now is go ahead and wire up the Blue Ghost module and get the wiring all sorted out. Once the wiring sorted out, we'll get that thing sealed up. Just like with opening up the housings themselves, I do have a full how-to video on how to open up the Blue Ghost modules. So we're just gonna run through this really quickly. So a quick version of this. I like to order the potted version of the Blue Ghost module because it doesn't have the little terminals on it. That way, instead of like screwing them down and having to pot all the way up through the terminal itself, you can just solder them on flat and it makes it really, really clean to install. Second, we always take the board out, it just makes it easier. The next thing that we do is we actually put solder on some of these contact points so that whenever we do wire them up, whenever we put the wires on, all we have to do is set the wire on there, tap it with the soldering iron, and it just melts right in there. Really easy, really quick. Speaking of wire, you're gonna need a lot. Of it. Now we're going to strip them and solder them to the board. Okay, the harness is completely loomed out. We have wired up the connectors on this side. So you can see I've got two pairs of JST connectors, but one thing to notice is that I do them opposites so they can't actually be plugged in wrong so the customer just has to match up the two three pin connectors on this side plug them in and they're good to go we have it running out of the turn signal socket i just kind of empty that whole thing out run the wire through and then we can wire it up here that's the oem plug they plug that in so that the oem features still work and we are currently testing it now this is fully wired up with the converter this right here is a really solid converter has a lot of amps for it so it is actually testing really really good right now which means we can officially go ahead and start to seal this thing up we're gonna plastic weld the whole thing then we're gonna silicone it and that is the completed light for this side of the quad heart brz taillights it's very time consuming but overall it's relatively basic all you're really doing is soldering thousands of leads together and then gluing it into the board but it does look really really cool when it's on i can't wait to get some pictures and videos from the customer when it's on the actual vehicle the way that i've started to do these youtube videos is i will build one side for youtube and then i do the other side for TikTok. So the other side is still being built out, but that video is being filmed in vertical and will be posted to TikTok in several different parts.